Are you a fresher? Are you starting medical school this year? If you are, then listen closely. Because I'm about to tell you not only how to survive your first year of medical school, not only how to get by, but how to make the most of this first year at med school by just following a few simple tips and by just listening to my advice. Hey guys, my name is Siobhan and I'm a third year medical student studying at King's College London. Wow, it feels weird to say that. I feel like it was just yesterday that I was starting first year and now it's already third year. Like, where is all that time gone? Anyway, so um, if you don't know already, I make videos about medical school and university. So do go check out my channel if you haven't already. I have vlogs, day in the life videos, videos about medical school, videos about how to get into medical school, all of that. So go check it out and if you think it's something you'd be into, then smash that subscribe button and join me for a lot more. Right, so like I said earlier, today in this video, I'm going to give you some tips to just completely smash your first year of medical school to really do really well and to enjoy it at the same time. So there are many things to say about first year. So first year is an introduction. It's also probably the lightest year of medical school. Yes, it's a lot of lectures, it's a lot of teaching and it's not super clinical. And you may think that it's not very consequential. Let me bust some myths. So first of all, I don't know how your medical school's curriculum works, but yes, first year usually is just a passing year, so you just have to pass it. Most medical schools follow a pass-fail system, and first year is pass-fail. So um, yes, your scores in, third year, in, in first year may not exactly matter. So this is just a disclaimer to take what I said with a grain of salt because when I mean that marks don't really matter, I mean that they don't really matter in terms of progressing to your next stage of medical school. So it doesn't matter whether you pass with marks that are slightly above the pass mark or marks that are really high. But there's usually an opportunity to get a distinction or a merit or something like that and it's re always really good to aim for something like this. Also passing these exams isn't really easy so you should aim for the highest score possible. It's always good to do more than the bare minimum so don't aim for that. And like I said, first year you have a lot of time in comparison to your later years in medical school because you are not doing a lot of clinical activities. Most of your activities are lecture based, tutorial based, um, workshop based, so you're more flexible with your time. That's why there's so much other stuff you can do in your first year of medical school which I'll talk about later in the video. And if we're talking medically, first year is really just an introduction to how everything is supposed to be with the human body. So you're learning about everything in its normal state so normal human anatomy, normal human physiology, you're learning about biochem, how everything is supposed to be when it's absolutely normal. You really need to crack this so that later on when you're studying, you know, pathologies and disease and disorders, which is obviously mainly what you're dealing with as a doctor, you have you need to have a good base. Because Obviously, to understand what's wrong, you need to understand what's right. Do you get me? Well, anyway, let's get, let's just get into these tips and into this advice without wasting any more time. So my first tip, if you're a first year medical student, it's obviously a study tip because we're all medical students, so obviously we're studying all the time. And this study tip is to use flashcards from the get-go. Don't waste your time making notes, making detailed, you know, sort of aesthetic notes on, you know, your iPad or, or anything like that. Don't, don't do that. Like, I wouldn't do that. I would just start taking notes in the form of flashcards right from the beginning. So as you're watching a lecture, as you're in a lecture, have Anki open, have Quizlet open, have RemNote open, whatever you make your flashcards on and just convert all the information that you're hearing into flashcards. Whatever is not supposed to be in the flashcards is probably going to be on the lecture slide, so you definitely don't have to waste time with taking too many notes. And if you take notes and you think you're going to turn them into flashcards later, that's probably not going to happen because you're not going to have enough time. 
first year there is no clinical stuff generally but at the same time there is a lot of volume in terms of your biomedical science and your lectures and you definitely need to keep up with this so don't waste time taking notes just go straight into flashcards and like i said anki quizlet ran note all good places to make flashcards and you can even use notion you can use that toggle function that kind of functions like flashcards because it's like active recall notes which is a point but it doesn't have any sort of algorithm to show you the flashcards at a particular you know space repetition kind of there's no automatic thing for that anyway second tip is to keep revising throughout the year and this is kind of linked to the previous point do not just slack off throughout the year do not like you know just do the minimum amount of work throughout the year and then expect that you're going to study super hard and learn everything a month before the exams because there's too much information for you to understand and remember in that one month before the exams and if you're not practicing for the 6 months before the 8 months before you won't be able to get everything in and everything won't stay there the way to solve this problem is to just make flash cards or whatever like i said before and to sort of do a few every day so as you are making them you're revising them as well and therefore you don't forget anything you learn because you know you're you're repeating it every so often you don't have to do too much like 30 minutes to an hour every day i think would be really useful A lot of these steps are based on things I didn't do or I made the mistake of not doing and that's why I know that what I did you shouldn't do and this is what you should do. Let's move on. The third tip is to attend everything you possibly can because in first year attending stuff is actually useful. Lectures are actually really useful because there's no other sort of reliable resource for the information that you need to learn i mean there is but there's no way that it's consolidated like it would be in your lectures and definitely your tutorials are really really helpful because you get to engage in a small group you get to ask questions and you're usually solving uh like tutorial worksheets together and uh that definitely helps you learn a lot and anatomy and stuff like that as well uh there's no better place to learn it than within an anatomy demonstrator in the dissection room doing pro sections doing hands on stuff so first year you should not be skipping anything attend everything and yeah my fourth tip something i absolutely did not do and i regret is to join societies and actively take part in them from first year So societies are a great part of university and definitely a great part of medical school. So you want to get involved in them as soon as possible. If you have an interest in a particular specialty in medicine, there'll be a society for it. I'm pretty sure there'll be a society for it. Join that society. Be part of it as a member in the first year. that'll allow you to sort of gain a better understanding of how the society works maybe network with some of the committee members in the society and then next year maybe you can take up a committee position and maybe you can even progress to becoming the vice president or the president of that society and that's something that'll give you skills that you won't be able to get anywhere else leadership organization teamwork and at the same time you get to explore your interests surrounding that society also if you want to join non medical societies this is a great opportunity to do that as well it's also a great opportunity to make friends to meet new people and to just get involved and live that university life my fifth tip again kind of linked to the last one is to get to know your seniors get to know your sort of you know your uh, second year med students your third year med students everyone above you because literally everyone is your senior every other person who's not in your year is above you so get to know them there are a lot of them and they will be able to help you more than anyone else because like i always say no one can help you like someone who's actually been in your position and who's actually got through what you need to get through 
so there's there's no substitute for that experience and if you ask these people your seniors questions if you ask your second years questions your third years questions they'll be able to give you amazing answers and they'll solve all your problems if they're nice enough to do that which they probably are join societies get to know your seniors what's the next thing that you need to do it's getting to know doctors so doctors you come across in your first year so it's very likely that most of your anatomy demonstrators will be doctors and a lot of your lecturers will be doctors as well get in touch with them have a chat with them and definitely try to get some experience out of them some early work experience or maybe if they have a research project that they're working on maybe try to get involved in that network networking is a really really important tool and it's something i wish i would have done more of early on so definitely get to know doctors that you come across in your first year because not as many people will be reaching out to them at that point so you can get some special attention so definitely do that and the last thing is to get to know a lot of people in your year in your medical school because these people are going to be your friends for the next 5 or 6 years you're going to be surrounded by them so obviously you want to build good relationships you want to build good friendships and uh yeah it, it it's going to benefit you like nothing else well because you can definitely there's a synergy when you you know join with other medical students they help you you help them whether it's getting through the challenges of daily life in medical school whether it's studying together or whether it's just you know doing fun stuff to blow off steam after a difficult day a difficult week difficult term making friends with other medical students and getting to know other people in your course is literally one of the most important things it's, it's much harder to make friends with people in third and fourth year than it is in first year because in first year everyone's open everyone's willing to get to know people everyone's you know super social in a very social mood and uh, it's the perfect time to just speak to a lot of people and uh, you will find your friends the most important tip is to have fun don't let the first year of medical school bog you down because it is literally going to be one of the best years of your life it's your first year of university there'll be nothing like it enjoy freshers enjoy your journey through medical school because you're not going to get that your back again and i miss it so much cuz first year was literally such a such a significant time of my life and it was it it was actually so much fun that uh you know I would have definitely regretted it if I didn't enjoy it to the fullest and you know take every opportunity I I had as many like memories of first year as I could because uh yeah that time's not going to come again you're going to be a second or third year medical student in fourth year you basically you feel like a doctor more than a student and uh yeah so just make the most of that first year and have a good time right so with that i think i've summed up all my sort of advice and i think i've preached to you for long enough I think now it's time for you to go out there to get started with your first year to just you know use all these steps and to just get into the flow of it and uh, I hope this video helps you in that I hope all of this is going to support you and I hope this really does make a difference and if it does and if you think it was helpful and if you like the video then drop a like down below smash that subscribe button and um leave any comments down below if you have any questions you want to ask me about medical school or anything like that i'm happy to respond to you and to, you know talk it out with you and yeah share the video with your friends starting their first year of medical school uh cuz you know that might be a good way to make a friend as well you can send my video to them i'm kidding i'm kidding 
um anyway yeah so i guess we're done i'll see you in the next one